Today we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful pomegranate turkey. It's one of my favorites. Um, I love it for Thanksgiving and also for Christmas. So to start with, we're going to start with a about a 20 pound tom turkey, uh, cleaned, thawed. Uh, we remove the giblets in the neck and set those aside for our gravy. And then we're going to go ahead and start with a brine. So we create the brine with uh, water, salt, brown sugar. To that we add onions and uh, apples. I like Granny Smith's. Uh, we add that together and combine it and we bring the water level up to just over the bird. I'll go ahead and I'll add pomegranate juice to that to bring the flavor up. Now you can brine your turkey for uh, 24 to 48 hours. Um, I did that in the refrigerator in my stock pot. Okay, after that you remove the turkey and you let it uh, get all the water out of it and dry it out and ready for uh, stuffing. So I create a bed of onions, celery, and carrots, which is called a morpois, and I go ahead and put the turkey on it to get it ready for stuffing. Um, I pick these pomegranates from my tree, and I go ahead and I shuck them. Um, uh, and then I go ahead and take the pomegranates that I've shucked and go ahead and add it to my vegetable mix for my stuffing mix. This is a shortbread stuffing, which is, uh, or cornbread stuffing, my bad. Um, I go ahead and it's piping hot right now and I go ahead and I put it in the cheesecloth. I go ahead and tie it up because I'm going to put this in the bird and then I want to be able to remove it very easily. So I leave myself a leader or a, a pull a string to pull out. And I get that, that in the bird and I, I, I tie it up, get the bird. Um, I go ahead and I uh, brush the bird with uh, butter. And then I go ahead and add Mrs. Dash to that. And I go ahead and put a cheesecloth on it uh, to hold everything in place. I'm going to add a little more Mrs. Dash. I put that in the oven for the first 15 minutes doing nothing to it just trying to get the temperature of the bird and start the cooking process. Um, I started out at 425 to get that cooking process going fast. I, I take the, the remaining stuffing mix and I set it aside in a pan, put an aluminum foil over it, put it in the refrigerator. At 15 minutes I go ahead and I pour a bottle of white wine over the turkey to start the basting process. I cook it another 30 minutes with no cover on it at all, getting it golden brown still at 425. I reduce the heat down to 350. I go ahead and pour a bottle of pomegranate juice on top of that. I cover it with aluminum foil. And here you can see I've reduced the temperature of the oven to 350. Now this is important. Every 30 minutes you come uncover the aluminum foil and baste the turkey with the juice that has settled at the bottom down with the carrots and the onions and the celery. So every 30 minutes you set your timer, you get up, and this is another 30 minutes that have gone by, and I'm basting it again. You can see that every time it's getting darker and darker and darker. So after I've been doing that for about two hours, I go ahead and remove the stock from the base because a lot of juice is down there. I go ahead and I pour another bottle of pomegranate juice on it and I continue to baste it every 30 minutes. When I get to about three hours, this is what the turkey looks like, okay? So I've been cooking it for three hours. I go ahead and I start, I pull the stuffing out at three hours um, so that the bird can, can continue to cook without the stuffing inside of it. I go ahead and uh, um, set that aside, let it cool down so I can handle it. I continue to baste the turkey um, with the pomegranate juice and the drippings that are down there. I go ahead and take the, the, the sack of, uh, of uh, stuffing mix and I go ahead and, uh, and cut it open and spread it out in that, set that aside. And I, I continue to baste the turkey every 30 minutes for the next hour to hour and a half until I get to temperature. My goal is to get the temperature up to 165 under the wing, I mean under the breast. Okay, at 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 165, I can go ahead and start glazing. I've finished cooking the turkey, and it's now all about presentation. So I glaze my turkey with honey. You can do honey pomegranate honey or even uh, pomegranate jam if you wanted to. 
So basically, this is the finished bird. It's very beautiful at this point. Um, we go ahead and, and sit it out on a rack for cooling so that we can start carving it up. Um, in the meantime, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn my attention to the gravy and the stuffing. I go ahead and put my stuffing in the oven and start its cooking process. I bro put it in the broiler. I take the giblets and the neck and I cut it up and I brown it. Then I deglaze that pan with the set-aside um, gravy or and then I add that to my my uh, more pois at the bottom. Here's my here's my stuffing almost done. Um, I go ahead once it's crisped up and I pull it out, put it aside. Then I go ahead and remove the more pois and the giblets and everything like that from my 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 gravy. Now my gravy I've strained it and I'm ready to thicken it. So I add a little bit of a slurry that I made with cornstarch and water and you're going to end up with gravy that looks like this. And it's fruity and it's very delicious. Okay, so cutting and carving the bird. I start to remove the wings, um, the legs, the breast meat. So basically, I, I, I'm, I'm left with the carcass that I put aside. Okay, I, I, and, and that's another uh, a segment that I'll talk about. But I plate my turkey up with big chunks of breast meat and dark meat. Now, this is the finished product. You can see how big and juicy uh, uh, the, the, the breast meat is, and I, I potatoes, and, and all the side dishes, and the stuffing, and I go ahead and I sprinkle pomegranate juice, o pomegranates, fresh pomegranates over it, and I also pour that gravy, that fruity pomegranate gravy. Oh, it's so delicious. I hope you enjoy it.